Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how I decorated our patio for summer on a budget plus I'm sharing a couple of mosquito repellent ideas for your outdoor spaces this year. First I found these geraniums at a local garden center and they were on clearance so I bought a few of those and put them in a planter that I already had on hand. I would have preferred some pink ones but they just had these red ones and I loved them and I thought they would look so pretty. I wanted to do sort of a pink and green theme for the back patio but red is a nice pop of color and I do like how red and pink look together. Scented geraniums are also a great way to repel bugs like mosquitoes. I found this drum side table at Michael's. They offer curbside pickup, plus they had a buy one, get one free. So I got that drum side table. Then I found these beautiful textured outdoor pillows from Ikea who also has curbside pickup. And I also found this pillow from Michaels with the pinks and greens and the tropical theme. This pillow from Ikea that I picked up curbside. And I also found this rug from Michaels and it was part of the buy one get one free sale. So I got the drum side table and then I got this rug for free. Loves the palms on it. So I also got these faux palm fronds from Michaels as well. Also, I found these faux ivy stems on Amazon and I wanted to see how they might look on the retaining wall here in the patio. I started the makeover by giving everything a nice clean because it had been out here all winter long and hadn't been cleaned yet. So I wiped off the table and all of the furniture. Then I put out all of these cushions and I really love that flamingo one that I got at Michael's and it's pretty much set the tone for this whole patio, kind of just a happy tropical feeling back here. If you caught my front porch makeover, you'll remember that's a little bit more traditional so I wanted to keep it a bit more fun back here. I also found this giant citronella plant at the local greenhouse as well, it was 50% off and that's also a great way to repel mosquitoes too. I put this rug down, this outdoor rug that I got at Michael's in their seasonal sale. So definitely stock Michael's for their seasonal sales. They always have some good deals and I placed it underneath the table here in our patio set. This patio set I got from the brick a couple years ago. Now here's a fun DIY that I made to repel mosquitoes. I found some mason jars I already had on hand. I cut up some lemons and limes and put one slice of lemon and one slice of lime in each of the mason jars. The citrus definitely helps repel the mosquitoes along with herbs. So these herbs are just some sage that I had on hand. You could use any type of herb that you want. And then I filled these about three quarters full of water. I'm using some essential oils as well. So I like to use lavender as well as citronella and lemongrass. And those seem to work really well to repel mosquitoes. I placed five drops of each in each of these mason jars. And then you can buy some floating candles or I just use tea lights and place them in here and they work as well. Floating candles will probably work a little bit better. And these little luminaries are so pretty and they also repel mosquitoes. And I've used them for about a week and they seem to be doing really well. I would probably replace everything in them every week or so. You can light them up and they look so pretty in the evening on your patio or on your porch. And like I've said, we use them about a week and the mosquitoes seem to stay away from them. I also found these citronella candles last year at Dollar Tree. Not sure if they have them this year. Let me know if you've seen them down in the comments below and I'm using them in our decor as well. Now here are those faux ivy garlands. I wasn't sure if these would look tacky or good, but I thought I may as well give them a try. They were inexpensive on Amazon. So I'm tucking them into the top of our retaining wall here. And the reason I'm using faux, I would prefer fresh here, of course, live, but we're still obviously working on the landscaping behind the retaining wall. We're just waiting for a time where we have a little more time and some more budget on our hands. We wanna do some landscaping back there right now. It looks a little bit wild. So for now, I thought I could do a faux plant treatment here. There's so much gray in this patio. We have the gray from the siding, the retaining wall, the furniture, and the gravel patio. So any green that I can add in here, I think is a good thing. 
So once I tucked these all together and there was multiple strands side by side, I was actually really pleased with how this looked. I thought the leaves looked quite realistic when they were all in a group like this. So I would definitely recommend these. I'll leave a link to them down in the description box below. Next, it was time for me to open up our umbrella. It's a little faded on the top, but the inside looks great still, and that just adds a little bit of shade and a nice look to the patio. Pop some of the cushions back on the seats, and I thought I would style a fun little summer tray here, so I'm putting some lemon water in this pitcher. This pitcher is from Anthropology. These cups are from Dollarama. That's our dollar store here in Canada, and then I'm putting those citronella candles around here. I put those palm fronds I got from Michael's in a jug and I placed them beside the outdoor sofa here along with that drum side table and the pot of geraniums. I'm putting one of the DIY luminaries here and lighting it up and that's going to help keep the mosquitoes away on this side of the patio and then I added them elsewhere throughout the space as well. So just a reminder, here's what our patio looked like before I tackled it for the summer. And here is what it looks like now. I'm really happy with the pops of color here and all the green. It definitely breaks up a lot of the gray that I have around here. Love all the candles and all of these mosquito repellent DIYs and plants. And so far we've eaten here a few times since I've styled this and the mosquitoes have stayed away and we've really enjoyed our al fresco dining here. If I can still find them online, I will make sure to link to all the products down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration as you decorate your outdoor space this year and try to keep those mosquitoes away. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you will love up in the top left hand corner.